everyone, I'm Lorena, and in today's Friday Facts and Fun, I will be sharing fun facts about books, libraries, and reading. This is by Kasia Kowalczak at ebookfriendly.com. She has listed 50 of these fun facts, but I only pick out at least 10. You can go visit the website for more fun facts. So here it goes. Number one, J.K. Rowling was not the first author to create a character named Harry Potter. A short story entitled Harry Potter was published in a communist Poland 25 years earlier in the literary magazine Sitchar Literaki. The author, Jan Rorski, was a Polish poet and short story writer who was a soldier of the Polish army and came to Great Britain where he spent 28 years. The story is about a 17-year-old Harry whose life is rather ordinary. As a shopkeeper, he delivers the original Krokovian sausage and pickles, and in the end, he suddenly vanishes. Hmm. Interesting Harry character. Wonder where he went. Number two. Did you know that there are three books suspected to be bound in human skin? One of the Harvard's library books, Destiny's Dilemma, is 99.9 .9 certain to be bound in human skin. The owner of the book is said to have gotten the skin from a back of a female mental patient whose body is unclaimed after dying from a stroke. It's been in Harvard's Hutton Library since the 1930s. According to the article, the practice of binding books in human skin was not at all uncommon in the 15th century. It was done to commemorate the dead. The other two books mentioned were Severin Pinot, the Integritatis Virginum Notis, and Pinot's The Virginitatis Notis, which now been confirmed to be actually bound in ship's can. So no worries, guys. There are no books in the Honda Public Library that is bound in human skin. And if we have, we will be putting them in cases. Number three, the largest book ever published is almost seven feet high and ten feet wide. This book is The Little Prince. According to the source, the record is held by an edition of The Little Prince by a Brazilian publishing company, Edoro Publicacos. It was first presented at the 8th Biannual Book Fair of Rio de Janeiro on September 13, 2007. The book measures 2.01 meters or 6.6 .6 feet high and 3.08 meters or 10.1 feet wide and contains 125 pages. Number four, the first book mobile in the world was launched in 1857. This was created to diffuse good literature among the rural population and was a horse-drawn wagon. This was launched by philanthropist George Moore and uh, this first ever book mobile started operating in Great Britain in the 19th century. It served books mounted from bookshelves, mounted on the outside, and traveled between eight villages in the Cumbria County in the Northwest England. Yep, we are so lucky today. We have a public library and we will not be waiting for a book mobile. And at least we have two little free libraries in our town to which you can check out books whenever you want. Number five, did you know that the longest ever book title consists of over 3,700 words? It was written by Vyala Yotedra and released on March 20, 2019. The title of the historical development of the heart, blah, 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 is made up of 26 characters or 26,000 characters. It is so long because the author decided to enlist all the different pieces the book mentioned, as well as ask over 50 different questions the book provides answers to and include both in the title. Number six, the oldest continually operating library. The oldest operating library in the world is the library of St. Catherine's Ministry at the foot of Mount Sinai. And it has the second largest collection of ancient manuscripts and codices just after Vatican City. This ministry in Egypt, which is the home to the oldest operating library in the world, was published in 565 AD. The library houses several unique texts, including the Syriac Sinaiticos and until 1859, the Codex Sinaiticos, the oldest 
known complete Bible dating back to around 345 CE. Number seven, the world's largest fine for an overdue library book stands at $345.14, the amount owed at two cents a day. A poetry book, Days and Deeds, was checked out of Kiwani Public Library in April 1955 by Emily Canelo's Sims, which has a due date of April 19. The daughter found the book at her mother's house 47 years later. Emily returned the book with an overdue fine over $345. Whew. That's a lot of money for fines. So to our dear patrons, please return your books on time. And if we are close, you can drop them off at the book drop. Number eight, world's fastest reader. The world's fastest reader is Maria Teresa Calderon from the Philippines. She is able to read 80,000 words per minute with 100% comprehension. In July of 1968, a Filipina teenager became international sensation when her phenomenal feat was reported by the Association of Press of the United States. In the time it takes for most people to read the label of a cereal box, 15-year-old Maria Teresa Calderon could read half a book or more if she didn't have to turn the pages, the Associated Press reported in 1968. At the university, she read a three-page long college-level essay of 3,135 words in just 3.5 seconds. In comparison, an average person reads around 250 to 300 words per minute with around 70% comprehension. As of today, she still holds the record well. I'm proud of you, girl. Number nine, American President Theodore Roosevelt read at least one book per day. 26th President Theodore Roosevelt might be one of the most well-read men in the history. Every day, he would read a book before breakfast and depending on his schedule, another book or two in the evening, even during his presidency. Roosevelt loved exploring various genres from Dickensian fiction to Greek history and was a firm believer that one's reading preferences change with time and mood. Number 10. Youngest person in the world to write a published book is a four-year-old. Dorothy Strait wrote her book, How the World Began, when she was four years and three months old, making her the youngest person in the world to write a published book. Dorothy wrote the book all in one evening in response to her mother's question of who made the world. And her parents loved it so much that they sent it to Pantheon Books. It was published two years later. And there you go. If you want to know more interesting facts and fun about reading books and libraries by Kasia Kowalczuk, visit ebookfriendly.com. You will also find more information on the fan facts shared and photo credits. Hondo Public Library does not own any of the information and photos shared. Hope you enjoyed this fun facts and please like and follow us on Facebook. See you next time for another episode of the Hondo Public Library's Friday Facts and Fun. Goodbye.